<laughs> hey guys. So today, oh, it's Josh, by the way. Uh, <laughs> today we're gonna talk about how to set up SMTP and automated emails in ClickFunnels. Um, by the way, I don't think I mentioned this in my last videos. This little kind of whatever you want to call it, the starter screen that I use. Uh, it's a little free app on Chrome called Momentum. Uh, it just every day it gives you a new background. You can see this is Crete and Greece. I'm Greek, so that's great. Um, gives you a little quote, tells you the temperature. It's nice, you know, just nice refreshing for every every new tab that you open, it's something like that. Uh, anyways, so let's get back to this. Talk about how to set up these automated emails in ClickFunnels. Um, so before we do any of this, um, let me just talk about real quick. If you use Mailchimp or some kind of other um, automated email integration, you can just add it as an integration. So you can see I already have Mailchimp in here because I used to use it. Um, you just press Add Integration. Literally choose whatever you use. There's so many options, and that's pretty much it. And I'll show you later in a funnel how to integrate that and how to get your email lists popping out emails to the people that you um, for, to the emails that you gather within ClickFunnels. But we're going to be talking about ClickFunnels integrated emails within Actionetics. And by the way, you need the full Edison Suite version um, of ClickFunnels, which is what I have, obviously, because I'm using this, because I like everything in the same place. It's very nice. So first, we have to set up SMTP settings. And this is pretty much just your, like this says, email configuration. Um, so you're going to, you see, I have some here already. Um, you can set up a new one for each funnel, or you can keep using the same one depending on. The intent of the funnel. If it's for like a client, if it's for a business, um, then you're going to want to set up a new SMTP for each one. And you can pretty much copy paste everything except the address, the physical address of the of the business, because you want that to appear in the email. Um, so let's just go here, add email integration. And you can see it's a lot of stuff that makes no sense. And you're like, Oh, no, I don't know what all this means. Trust me, neither did I. But that's why they have help. So you're gonna have to set up an account with either SendGrid, Mandrill, or SparkPost. I use SendGrid because it's easy, it's pretty well known. Um, and literally you can press learn how and ClickFunnels takes you exactly through everything you need to do. Nice and easy. So I'm not even gonna go over this because you know, they do it in detail here. Um, they literally give you everything that you need to enter all this information, which is great. Um, the main thing you have to keep or take note of here is this piece of code, you want to copy and paste that. I didn't even Oh, Hello, copy and paste this directly into the footer here. And what this is, it's literally this little section of an email where it says unsubscribe at the bottom. That's what this footer is. So you can see mine just says Palacis Media and then unsubscribe because I work from home and I don't want to give my actual address out to people. So I kind of just deleted all that. So what you're gonna have to do is literally company name, you know, fill in company name, Blastus Media, address, fill in address, city, state, zip, and then this is phone number here. And if you don't want any of these sections, you literally just, you know, delete it. And then what you end up having is this guy. Just, anyways. So what you're gonna have to do is, again, set this up, title it, whatever it might be, um, whatever you're using it for and you're pretty much you can use SMTP like I said for a few different funnels if you're they're all kind of in the same category but if you're working for clients and these are all for different clients and you want their address to show up on the bottom then you're gonna have to set up a new SMTP and you can do the same pretty much everything is copy and paste yeah, everything's pretty much copy and paste except for the domain so what this is gonna be no this is your SMTP domain that it tells you how to do that up here, this domain. So this is going to be the funnel that just so this is Shack Orthodontics. This is an actual orthodontist that I well, actually I didn't end up <laughs> running a campaign for them, but I was going to. Uh, so I bought the I bought the URL for nothing. So you're going to want to set that to the funnel. So I'm this SMTP is for this orthodontist. So I set it like that and then type in their address, all their information. Blah, blah, blah. And if you want to make it your default for every SMTP, which obviously in this case you don't, you can set that. And then you save SMTP. So now that that's done, and you can see I have uh, I have some already here. Uh, now that that's done, we can actually go into yeah, let's go into email lists now. So you see, I already have a few. And if you're wondering why, why does this email list have two lists? Well, we'll get to that in a second when I add a list here. You can create a group tag. 
So if you have a bunch of affiliate marketing stuff and then a bunch of stuff you know, for clients, and uh, you don't wanna mix them all up, you can literally create a group tag. So every list you create that has to do with affiliate marketing goes into affiliate bootcamp or affiliate whatever. So let's just you know create a new list, title it whatever. This is what I was saying, group tag. So this is why you wanna always kind of categorize your lists depending on the intent. And then don't worry about smart list. And then just press create. And then now you have a nice list. And that's pretty much the first step there is you want to create the list, you have it. Now you go into action funnels. And this is the actual email sequence. So you can see I have a few here. So affiliate bootcamp, let's go here. So when people enter my affiliate bootcamp list, they'll be given this action funnel. So you can see that this is all the information here. Um, so it, this first email triggers immediately. <laughs> it's called immediate trigger. They don't see that. I, only I see that. Uh, you can see I've sent this many, this many are open, this many are clicked. You know, it'd be nice if that was a lot more, but what can you do? Well, you can, <laughs> I guess you can do a lot. You can change your, your copy and, and mix things up. But at the end of the day, depending where you get your traffic from, so most of these I think are from solo ads that I bought, and I'll talk about solo ads in a, in a future video. Um, solo ads aren't necessarily all gonna be reliable clicks, but you know, it's cheaper than, well, sometimes depending on the, uh, I'll get <laughs> I'll get into that another time. That's another rabbit hole. I'm not even gonna bother with right now. Um, so anyway, so you see, like you know, I create a nice little email here. Um, this sends it immediately. Then I have like 32. I think I've shown this in another video. I have 30, 32 emails that send. That's that's a lie. That's not 32 emails. This is 12 emails that send over the course of 32 days, because I don't want to spam people every single day. Uh, okay, let's just go back here. So what you want to do when you create a new action funnel, so you do the name, again, same kind of group tag. This you would add to whatever, oh, I don't know why these are. Okay, there we go, that was weird. Uh, you add it to the list that you just created. So, you know, this is affiliate stuff, let's do affiliate bootcamp, add it to that list. And then this is where your SMTP comes into play. Um, so for all those emails, whatever SMTP you set up, so this was a broadcast that I just sent out uh, and I use this specific SMTP. So when you set up your whole action funnel, you want the SMTP to match, you know, whatever your action funnel is. You set that up, set the list up, and boom. Then you're good to go. So every email that comes into that list will be sent to that action funnel and will be given um, all those steps with that SMTP that we already set up. So that's pretty much how it's all integrated. Now let's go into funnels. I'll just show you how this kind of plays out. Let's go into this one. So see how there's affiliate bootcamp there, another group tag. <laughs> so this is just a little little landing page that I have for people that come through, whether it's Facebook or solo ads. Um, they'll come here, give me their stuff. Okay, give me their stuff. Give me their email. Okay. So they come into here. By the way, if you're using MailChimp or something else, what you want to do is go into your integrations here um, and then select. So select MailChimp, whatever. Then it'll show you all your lists. Oh, sorry, over here, your lists. And then all your other settings will be done in MailChimp or in other software. So that's just how you do that. So it's nice and easy. Actually, I lied. We don't have to come in here. I just wanted to come in here to show you that. Um, so what you want to go to, what you want to go to, what you want to do is go to automation. And so for this whole funnel, that's the automation for this whole funnel, you want to trigger events. So you can like just add a new email right from here, but it'll only send like one. So don't even, don't even bother. Since we have Actionetics, set up a list, set up an action funnel, have that already done. So once you're making your funnel, all you have to do is literally new action, you know, name it, condition, put everyone, um, you know, sure, add to ABC list. Uh, integration, yeah, click funnels internal, and then, yeah, so add to list, keep that, and then you literally choose the list. So now every time somebody comes into your funnel and they enter their information, they're literally added to the list and then they go through the uh, the action funnel and everything works out nice and dandy uh let's go back here i just want to show you in settings as well just make sure the smtp configuration is the proper one for this funnel uh let's go back here real quick oh oh my god i don't know if you guys have this pop up all the time i fixed this then the mac updated recently to uh whatever it is now 
or the Mojave. <laughs> and my god, I can't get rid of this stupid thing. Anyways. Um, what was I doing? Edit page. Let's go back here. Uh, just make sure whenever you have these integrations all set up now. Okay. And there we go. When you actually have your enter email, you know, your button, set action. You want to make sure it submits order form. Don't press go to next step and funnel. So on the button itself, submit order form all the time. And then what you want to do is in your settings whoop, up here, go to general and on submit, go to, and this will kind of be automatic, your next page. Um, if it's not there for some reason, just copy and paste the URL for the next step in the funnel into here. So on submit, so when it submits on the button, you want to have it sending to your list. And then when you go up here into settings, general, on submit, go to the next page. And that's how you submit the information as well as going to the next page in the funnel. Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, so that's pretty much it, guys, for this particular video. I hope that helped some of you figure out how to integrate the mail um, mail system within ClickFunnels. I think it's pretty easy, pretty nice. Everything's in the same place. I'm not going to show you this, obviously, because this is all my contacts. <laughs> but you can go in here and check out all the... Oh, there, you got a sneak peek of, like, one email. Um, this will show you all the people that are you know new, all your lifetime, unsubscribe. You can go into them and see some of the details if they've given any details um, about themselves. If they actually sign up for ClickFunnels, you'll have their picture and all that kind of stuff as well. Assuming they added the picture like I told you to do in the last video in account details. <laughs> oh, last thing here. I don't think I talked about this yet. <laughs> Honestly, my memory sucks. Um, these are email broadcasts. So if you have a big list and you're like, oh, like you have a list for maybe a, a dentist office and your dentist is offering, I don't know, free teeth cleanings. Imagine that. Um, and you want to email everyone in the list. Let it come here. New broadcast. Subject line, whatever. Choose the email list that you want to use. So, you know, you type in like dental clinic. Um, choose the right SMTP. Uh, you can send a test email, which is nice to yourself to make sure it's all good before you send it. Uh, then you just choose a template, write up the email and say, Hey guys, you know, my dentist is off or not my dentist. You would be acting as the dentist. So you'd be like, Hey guys, we're offering blah, blah, blah. And then boom, it'll send out to everyone on the list, which is nice. And then it'll tell you here, you know, like 50 open six clicks and it'll tell you how many are sent. So that's just a nice little feature as well. You can just broadcast without having to do it, you know, with your own personal email account. So, yep, that's pretty much it. I'll see you guys in the next video. Hope you enjoyed and hope this helped. See ya.